Alright folks, Dave from King's Consoles here with a look at the zipper controller for the Nintendo Entertainment System. This is a third party controller made by a company called Bijou. Uh, now Bijou is an American based company who made third party controllers for both Nintendo and Sega, mainly during the 80s and 90s. Uh, they stopped trading back in 1995 so sadly they're no longer making any more controllers. Uh, but what I'm going to do is have a look at the box first of all and then we'll take a look at the controller itself. Um, as you can see, the, the box is actually quite typical of your your 80s, 90s packaging. Quite straightforward, just shows you the controller right in the, the front. Uh, no gimmicks or anything else. Um, let's get a closer look in fact. You can see the name of the, the controller there, Zipper, nothing too flashy. Um, there's Bijou's logo up there as well. Um, yeah, I like, the, I like to keep packaging. Um, Sometimes just having the, the controller in a box, so the way some bears had they for functionality. But these particular boxes, I, I quite like keeping themselves, especially with them a bit battered and uh, gives a bit of age to the, the overall box. Uh, I even like to keep some of the stickers on here, kind of, especially price tags, let's remember how much things used to cost. But as I say, this is an officially licensed product from Nintendo. It's got the official seal of quality. Uh, as if that wasn't good enough, the some company called Euromax, never heard of them, thought they had to give their own seal of approval. Because apparently Nintendo's own seal of quality isn't good enough. Um, a little bit of details here, it's new. It's a new. Like much like Nintendo likes to put in everything nowadays, like new 3DS XL and new Super Mario Brothers. But yeah, it's a new exclamation mark, replacement control pad and colours. So to explain a little bit more about that, there was a, a grey, white and red version, much like the original NES controller. It's kind of grey body, red buttons, white D-pad. So this is like a colour variant, much like nowadays you get with the Xbox or the PlayStation controllers. They give you the black one first and then suddenly give you the funky red and blue ones that you, you have to buy. Um, directional extensions for quicker responses, so explains the hole in the middle there, I'll show you more about that. And two separate auto fire switches, which are these two bad boys here. Same again, I'll show you more in that more detail. Uh, this was bought from John Menzies at the sale price of £4.99. The original price was £17.99. So I think it must be another reduction here because it's another price tag. But this person waited until it came down to £4.99 and got in the sale. Good man. Or girl. Um, so yeah, I bought this probably for more than 4 99 I can't remember because it was like a few years ago I bought it. Uh, but really just nice to look at. Uh, around the back, I won't show you too much because I'm going to go over that anyway. I'll have to point out, it does state that this is the jump button, this is the fire button. Not always the case. Most games, yeah, that's your jump and that's your fire. But we know that some games like to fuck around with us and switch them around and makes our brains go strange. Oh yeah, and here's a Bijou Incorporated's address, which go there if you like, but they're no longer there. And you do get 90 days of warranty, so if this breaks after 90 days, then fuck off, we're not replacing it. It's not our problem. So yeah, so I'll just keep that in the background here. And I have, as if by magic, ta -da, the controller. Uh, so, as you can see, it's quite a, a large controller. Uh, in fact, I'll give you a little bit of comparison, just off the cuff. Uh, there we go. So there's the original NES, and there's your zipper. So I do like to play with this one, preferably than this now, because with me having giant man hands, um, this really isn't as comfortable as it used to be as when I was a, a child. It's still a great controller though, you still can't beat it. Um, the, the corners are a little bit sharper, so yeah, my big beastly hands in comparison are just too big for it now. So what I like to do is, my hands sits quite comfortably, Cable coming to the centre so I can balance my, my fingers on the top and yeah, I can play Nintendo for long periods of time without it being uncomfortable. Uh, it's also got this nice little kind of lip, this groove that goes around the edge so your so fingers can sit inside there and it's nice and smooth. So yeah, ergonomically, not that it was a thing back in the day but this is one of the more comfortable controllers to play with. Uh, now you can see just by even looking at it, it's got the kind of zipper logo in the front that kind of really pops out at you with this light blue border and the Bijou logo there as well. I uh, do like the colours of this, it's really reminiscent of the kind of time period, 80s and 90s, having multiple colours in the controller that really didn't make sense. So your green directional pad, your yellow 
B button and your red A button. Obviously your matching toggles on the top. D-pad is really the exact same as the ADS, which is great because it's one of the best D-pads that was ever out there and still is in fact. Um, you've got your hole which was for your joysticks which I will show you in a few moments. Rubberized select and start buttons, much like the original controller as well. Um, and same again, kind of concave button so your thumb sits quite nicely in there. And I do like the distance between like the gaps really close so if you happen to play a game you don't have much travel to hit the buttons. Um, or if you want to play something like track and field and hit the button really quickly, they're really close together. You can do the, the good old trick with your nail and put them between and go rapid. That's my little technique back in the day. But of course the main feature of this controller, along with the joystick, is your quick fire buttons. So if you flick it to semi, <laughs> I just said semi, um, hold the button down, just does a uh, push the button automatically for you every couple of seconds, go to full auto, hold the button down, rapid fire. So really handy for shoot 'em ups. Um, so if you think back in the day, it's one bullet per button, pushing the buttons, in fact not even just back in the day, even nowadays, the other one bullet per button press, you're shooting loads of enemies on the screen, you're constantly tapping the buttons, and sooner or later it's going to get a bit repetitive and you probably have some bloody thumb by the end of it. Switch it to full auto, hold the button down, game just shoots automatically and you can move the ship around with your, your control pad. Superb! Uh, if you really want to cheat, you play games at like track and field, instead of doing this whole technique of pushing the buttons, set them both auto, hold the buttons down, and let's just say you'll be breaking the 100 meter record in no time. Don't know why you want to do it, uh, <laughs> it just kind of defeats the purpose of the game, but this, that can be done with auto fire, uh, as you would do. Now, in the back, nothing much to see apart from the zipper logo again, and the Bishu uh, logo as well there, made in China. Oh, strange that. That still seems to happen nowadays. Um, iPhone. So, the controller itself is really comfortable to hold, um, great to play with. Uh, it comes with an extra long cable as it does say. So let's do a little run through of the cable. Let's move it, move it, move it, move it. So it's not lying, this cable is rather long, it's kind of dangled here. And there is the NES input. Now, what I have noticed is it's the only piece of the controller that has an official Nintendo, most likely because Nintendo had to supply these to the manufacturers. Um, obviously, third parties would have made Nintendo controllers in the past, but this is the official connector into the, the console. But no other Nintendo markings on the controller itself. Uh, only your Bijou and Zipper logos, as you can see. So the what it also comes with is these little analog nubs, or not really analog, but little joysticks. You get a domed effect, which you much likely get on the PS3. Uh, that just sits into the hole. Don't screw in, just push in, like so. And your thumb just rests on that, and you can move the the D-pad uh, that way instead. Just an alternative, really. Uh, don't really see any benefits to it. I've never noticed any main benefits of having it. Maybe playing something like Pac-Man uh, or the same more shoot 'em ups. Um, but it comes with two, so you get the, the domed one if it's going to come out. Might not want to now. And we have a concave one, which is the one I prefer. I prefer to have my, my thumb sticking in the in the little recess there, so it just makes it a little more easier to control. Um, but yeah, as overall as I say with my beastly man hands now, it's a lot more comfortable. This is the NES advantage. Um, is what I tend to use to play the NES now. Uh, but that's all I have to really say for the console. Uh, the console, the controller. Uh, all I just want to say, guys, is if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment, even if you only watched five five seconds, you wouldn't be able to hear this part. But uh, do please give me a comment. I do like to hear from you uh, what you think about the controller, what you think about my video. Any constructive criticism is much welcomed. I'm going to regret saying that at the end of this, of course. And uh, do subscribe because I have got more retro games consoles, gameplays, accessories. Uh, the room's full of it. And I will be doing some more gameplays as well. So apologies if you don't really like the Call of Duty stuff.